Today we are going to see a beam problem on ANSYS APDL. So this is the problem, uh, simply supported beam uh, given um, of length 4 meter in which uh, 20 kN of uh, point load is acting at the center of the simply supported beam. So we need to compute the shear force and bending moment diagram for the beam um, and the maximum deflection. We can assume uh, the cross sectional area of the beam as 0.2 meter and uh, into 0.3 meter. Uh, Young's modulus is given as 210 gigapascal. Poisson ratio is 0.27. So this is the problem we are going to take. So let us open the ANSYS APDL. So first select pre preferences. So it is a structural problem. Click OK. Preprocessor element type we need to select click element type then add so no element is defined click add to define the element so it is a beam element so click beam and 2 node 188 click ok then close uh, it is a beam problem so here the thickness of the beam can be given in uh, section portion so before that we need to give the material properties of the beam so click material properties material model structural linear elastic isotropic so Young's modulus and Poisson ratio EX is Young's modulus PRXY is Poisson ratio so in the problem it is given as 210 gigapascal the unit is in meter so 210 into 10 to the power 9 we can give if you convert 210 gigapascal into Newton per meter square. Poisson ratio is 0.27. So let us give here 210 E9 that is into 10 to the power 9. So E9. Poisson ratio is 0 0.27. Click OK. So that's all we have uh, given the material properties. Then go to section since it is a beam problem we can give the cross section in section portion so select beam and in that uh, select common section here we can uh, see the breadth and height of the beam should be given in this portion so breadth so according to the problem it is given as 0.2 meter into 0.3 meter so breadth so breadth we can give as 0.2 and height as 0.3 click OK then uh, that's all we have given the cross sectional area of the beam so we can directly model the beam so straight away go to modeling create so here we can create uh, points using different uh, uh, portions so we can uh, create a po point using key points and also you can create just uh, um, a line and also area can be created volume is also created so here we are going to draw a simply supported beam so first initially we can plot two points so according to the problem uh, node 1 node 2 and node 3 can be created so that uh, it is easier for us to apply node of uh, 20,000 kilo Newton at node 2 so better you put three points so I am going to select key points in active CS so key point number 1 that is uh, node 1 can be given as 0 0 and 0 so click apply so it is uh, node 1 is created on the origin next to node 2 so in problem it is uh, uh, given in uh, 2 meter so node 2 can be given in 2 meter so x will be 2 y and z should be 0 so click apply so node 1 and node 2 is created at a distance of 2 meter then node 3 according to the problem it is uh, 4 meter so given give us 4 meter towards x axis so click ok so now 3 nodes have been created now we can uh, draw a line crossing these 3 nodes so lines click lines straight line click node 1 and node 2 and node 2 and node 3 so these are all key points this is not uh, 
nodes we have created the points using key point option so if you create if you draw the line uh, using key point option we need to mesh it so then only uh, the node will be created so directly go to mesh so if you draw using node option no need to create uh, no need to mesh so directly go to mesh option meshing mesh control so just reduce the mesh size into uh, smaller size i am keeping as 4 go to mesh select the two lines click ok now the line has been meshed that is the beam has been meshed so now uh, we can apply load so now click load analysis new analysis it is already in static so no problem click define load apply so we are going to fix these two nodes that is node 1 and node 3 so for that click structural displacement on key points since we have created the line using key points we should select only key points other options will not accept so click these two that is node 1 and node 3 that is key point 1 and key point 3 click ok we need to fix in all direction so these two nodes has been fixed next we are going to give a load of 20,000 newton downward in the node 2 click force and moment on key points we have created the line using key points only so select on key points select node 2 click ok uh, it is in f x and f y f z all the options are there we have to apply a load in f y direction according to the problem since it is downward we can give in negative value that is minus 20,000 newton click ok so that's all and now we can solve go to solution solve current ls click ok so solution is done so we have drawn correctly uh, so according to the problem we need to extract uh, three different results so that is shear force diagram bending moment diagram and also maximum deflection of the beam so first let us take uh, maximum deflection um, for that click general post processor plot result so contour plot nodal solution in that select dof solution so displacement vector sum there is an option called displacement vector sum this can be used to generate the maximum deflection so that's all so the maximum deflection is 0.149 into 10 to the power minus 3 mm this you can uh, view in 3d just change the view click plot control style size and shape this uh, display of element will be in off you just turn it into on click ok so that's all you can find the uh, 3d view of the beam and maximum deflection uh, can be generated using this option so that's all if you want to animate and see you can click animate mode shape go to stress and one miss click ok so you can see uh, the animation so that's all uh, two more portions has to be uh, calculated that is uh, according to the problem uh, one is uh, shear force and bending moment diagram so to calculate uh, shear force and bending moment diagram first we need to create a table so the, here is an option called element table first uh, click element table then define table uh, we need to define a table for uh, generating shear force and bending moment diagram so click add so in that uh, go to by sequence number that is smisc so this is uh, the sequence number to generate shear force and bending moment diagram so for shear force we have to give smic 2 to 8 so first let us give 2 click apply here you can see smisc number 2 is defined on the table 
then sequence number SMIC 8 so 2 to 8 will be the shear force sequence number click apply then sequence number SMIC 6 so, click apply then by sequence number SMIC 12 so 6 to 12 will give the bending moment diagram so click ok now all the sequence number has been defined in the table close it now we can generate the shear force and bending moment diagram generate uh, shear force diagram go to general post processor plot result line element result so in contour plot if you want to get the maximum stress and maximum uh, deflection you will select nodal solution so if you want to generate shear force and bending moment diagram click line element result here element table item node i first node should be 2 second should be 8 so 2 to 8 deformed and undeformed click ok you will get the shear force diagram change into normal view so it is a shear force diagram so same if you want to generate bending moment diagram same line element result give the sequence number 6 to 12 click ok you will get the bending moment diagram so that's all uh, we can generate the shear force and bending moment diagram easily then uh, we can also list some of the results so click list result so in that uh, reaction uh, solution and nodal loads can also be listed so if you want to take the reaction solution click this click all items ok you will get a, a reaction solution for the respective nodes similarly nodal loads can also be listed click ok so uh, all the nodal loads can be listed so that's all thank you for watching